So in your opinion, what are the key benefits we can get out of Port Risk? So the core benefits of Port Risk are that it looks to reduce the in-house cost of risk management processes and, and practices. And it also looks to improve the quality of risk management by providing the right data, insights, and elevating risks that matter most to ports. So the way in which Port Risk reduces in-house costs of risk management practices is through automation. Uh, so much of the effort and work that ports would need to do in-house in terms of gathering data, understanding that data, and converting that into useful insights that, that might convert into a potential risk, Port Risk does that all for you. So it automatically scans through all of the data we have available within Rideship, and it will present the high-level risks to, to the, port, uh, the port in question. Yeah, so in terms of uh, improving the quality of, of risk management practices within ports, uh, Port Risk achieves this by essentially leveraging the vast amounts of data we have available. So we're not just looking at data and presenting that at a high level. We look at the data uh, in, in detail, uh, analyze the data that's available, uh, and present that to the, the port in question. So I think one key benefit of Port Risk is the, the efficiency element to it. So Ports can allocate uh, you know, resources and, and invest a lot of money, which is obviously fantastic in, in risk management and, and trying to ensure that uh, you know, the operational throughput is, is, is not impacted to, to ensure you know, commercial performance, but it's around uh, achieving commercial performance in a, in a, uh, in a zero harm fashion, right? okay? so ensuring that there's not incidents in the port, there's, there's no environmental impacts, uh, and also from a crew well-being uh, perspective as well. So whilst that's all important, of course, there are commercial benefits to port risk in that the reduced time uh, spent within the, the, you know, the often limited resources within ports, port risk does the kind of hard, hard work for them. So therefore, they can deploy those resources in other areas of strategic importance uh, to the port. So there's definitely, a, uh, I think, a, a cost saving element to that, an efficiency element with obviously the upside of, of improving safety, uh, sustainability and, and crew welfare.